Welcome everyone and I'm back with another video. In this video I'll show you how we can install CUDA in Linux Ubuntu 18.4. Uh, before I start I would highly request to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you like it. Okay so let's start and uh, first of all we will try to find if CUDA is available on this machine or not. So to do this I'll do NVIDIA CUDA compiler dash capital V and you can see that NVIDIA CUDA compiler is not present okay so let's try to install it I will browse to this website developer.nvidia.com slash CUDA dash download then I'll go for Linux uh, if you would like to confirm you can do cat slash etc star release star and you can see that it's Ubuntu 18.4 um, LTS okay uh, you can do you name dish a to confirm that it's a 64-bit machine you can see here x x8664 so I will do Linux and then x8664 and uh, then Ubuntu 18.4 and I will click this deb local okay and it will give me all the steps required uh, to install CUDA so let's uh, but we have to do something extra as well so let's do them first Let, let's create another directory so mkdir temp uh, temp already exists temp1 cd temp1 and now let's run all these steps so the first step is fairly quick now let's do the second step uh, you need sudo so you might be asked for the password i have already entered the password uh, and then you will cop copy the third command and run it now this one is a, a big file and if your internet is slow it might take uh, longer I have a fast internet so it's fairly quick you can see that it's around I guess 2 GB file yeah okay and uh, let's run these commands as well After that we have to run this command okay so everything seems fine let's run the command okay and now let's run sudo apt update okay and now let's try to install CUDA okay so we got into an issue the following may have to resolve the situation the following packages have unmet dependencies unable to correct the problem depends 11-2 but it is not getting going to be installed Okay, let's see uh, so to solve this uh, issue what I think is so to solve this issue what we could do is that uh, we have to change the download uh, the installation process of it so instead of this local Debian uh, we will click this one run file local okay and uh, this will actually download the file so let's download it again so let's get rid of this uh, clear ls let's get rid of this i don't know if it's the same file or not let's check uh, local installers no it's not so let's get rid of this and uh, let's download this one uh, 
and then we have to run uh, this command so we have copied it okay and uh, let's run this now it will take some time but uh, eventually uh, a kind of window will turn up give it some time so hopefully a window should pop up yeah uh, let's go to the second option continue uh, let's accept the license by saying accept and now just uncheck the drivers by pressing the spacebar okay and then come down and press install okay So in most cases the first uh, process should work fine but if it doesn't uh, then you can follow this process. Okay so as you can see everything is working at the moment if I do NVCC I will still not get anything okay because the CUDA is not in path so we need to add this uh, to the path variable so let's make a file uh, etc profile.t and CUDA.sh now it's a new file add these two lines path user local CUDA and I think it was CUDA-11.2 we have to confirm it but and then uh, CUDA directory is CUDA-11.2 okay uh, this path should be in the beginning before dollar path and not after dollar path because if you have an older version then that will be executed before it execute this one uh, and you will never be able to see your new one but anyway so let's save it control x and yes and save that's one part done now you have to give this file a uh, permission so run this uh, command now let's create another file etc ld.so.conf.t cuda.conf and write the path to the cuda libraries and in our case it's cuda-11.2 okay uh, so let's save it control x and y and enter now run uh, sudo ldconfig and press enter let's log out and log in and see if we can mm, but basically we need a restart so exit and i log in and now we do nvcc-v and we can see that we have the cuda compiler available so it's it's better to to restart the machine but um, even if you log out and log in uh, it is showing us the uh, latest installation thank you so much for watching if you are still <laughs> if you are still with me and uh, see you in the next video bye